Well, we're glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. We are huge fans of travel journalist Tamika Jones. She's so awesome. And she was just in Denver for the Heartland Emmy Awards. She won in her category and took home the Golden Lady. Congratulations, Tamika. Well, the best part of her winning story is it's all about a town we know and love. It's Breckenridge. We want to share Tamika's winning story with you. The bumps. Oh my God, you feel that? The, the thrill, ah! the adrenaline rush. Woo! Just yes. awesome. <laughs> yes. Fun. Good times. For sure. I mean, literally good times. <laughs> Come along with me as I head about 80 miles west of Denver, Colorado, to a popular mountain town you probably think of as a winter resort. After a long travel day, you will not believe where I'm at in Breckenridge. Look at this place. It is gorgeous. I am here to have some fun in the sun and show you how you can do the same. Breckenridge has a really colorful history. It was founded in 1859 as a mining settlement, as a mining town. Um, and really when the gold rush came through, it kind of brought a ton of prospectors here. Breckenridge Ski Resort was founded in 1961 um, and really put Breckenridge on the map as far as a recreation destination. Our downtown area is alive and there are thriving businesses, over 200 restaurants, bars, shops, lots of different tour providers, different ways to walk around and enjoy the downtown area. And we have so much sunshine. There is so much to do in Breckenridge. It's easy to leisure pedal around town, but guided bike tours are offered as well. Lauren took me on one of her favorite rides in town. We drove up a scenic road. Just look at these stunning views of the Rocky Mountains. Hi. Hey. So tell us where we are. Where are we biking? Yeah, right now we are on Boris Pass Road. Uh, this is an old railroad bed back from the mining days. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it is kind of a modern recreation way. Uh, of course, you can drive down Boris Pass Road in the summer and fall, uh, but it's really common to see uh, road bikers, gravel bikers, um, hikers, dog walkers. It's just kind of a lovely place to be. This isn't for the faint of heart. It's not, but it's worth it. We're at 9,600 feet above sea level, um, which means that visitors can prepare in advance for their trip to Breckenridge by hydrating um, 24 to 48 hours. Okay, this is where I stop. I just want to take a moment to take it all in from below and from up high. And this, you guys, is Breckenridge. It's an amazing experience. Wow, <laughs> did you see that? It's the thrill for me, you guys. It is the thrill for me. Back in the heart of the downtown area, fly fishing. Hey, how's it going? Our guide, Soren Calger with Breckenridge Outfitters, took us to a popular spot on the Blue River. The recommended gear, waders, which looks like overalls to keep you dry, of course, then boots and a fly rod. Who said fly fishing isn't sexy? A quick lesson before we hit the water. I want the rod to do the work, not my body to do the work. Yeah. We want to be looking to see if we can get that fly line to loop out behind us. Now this is called the pickup cast. Yep. Pickup cast. Pickup pause present. My arm hurts. Pickup pause and vogue. So for a little bit of waiting safety, we're gonna cross together because these rocks get really slick and it's better to have a little support. Okay, ready? Yeah. We're gonna up, pause. Up, pause. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I wanted it just to pop up like bang. Here I am. Sometimes it's a little bit more subtle. Soren was right. Minutes later, Anna caught a little brown trout. We got a fish. Slide it on in this net. You want to touch it and let it go? Nope. Are you sure? Okay, yeah. When fly fishing, the excitement is definitely the catch, but also the release. Okay, we can do it. We can yep. do it. We can do it. You got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, now set him back in the water. Yeah. <laughs> nice work. Catch and release works. So I'm putting this fish back 
and it's my way to like get in touch with nature, but I don't have to kill it. I don't have to eat it. It's okay to harvest fish gotcha. if you if that's what you decide to do. Make sure that you're doing it legally. Mm. No catch for me this time, but overall, fly fishing gets a thumbs up. So the fun continues next with some furry animals. But first, you just have to check out these spectacular views in this beautiful town. A typical greeting for our huskies is two paws on the chest, giving you a husky hug and a lick across the face. This is a dog lover's paradise. More than 150 sweet Siberian Huskies here at Good Times Adventures. During our behind the scenes tour of the kennel, we learned the dogs' names, personalities, and about their training for the real fun, dog sledding. These guys will start training when they're around a year old to pull sled. That's when they'll first start running on teams. But really their training starts pretty quickly. Uh, we take them on hikes. We take them on walks. This is training for them, having them be really well socialized. Up, up, up. Oh, <laughs> so the best way to meet our dogs here, and really any dog that you're ever meeting, is to kind of get low, um, let them come to you, and that's not always an invitation to be pet, but you can tell when a dog is feeling comfortable. So you'll kind of bend down like this. Mars might come on over. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. And give him a nice pat Hi. underneath the chin or on the belly instead of going in with two hands oh. over top. Now, if inquiring minds want to know, like I did, the Huskies hit the trails in the summer? In the summer, it's a little bit more of our off season, mm -hmm. but they still need to go running and they still need to work. So um, the summertime, it helps, um, helps them stay active, helps them stay healthy. Well, let's get them moving. All right, hike it up. So right now we are in 100% underdog power. Here you see the leaders, Flint and Kristoff, are the brains of the operation. And a few of the other roles include point position to help set the pace and team position for added dog power. A really important thing in the summertime is making sure that our dogs aren't overheating. The dogs are looking good and we're having a good time. Yes, we are. Yeah. All right. Now it's time for some great food and company. Breckenridge owes me absolutely nothing. Cheers to Breckenridge. To Breckenridge. Yes, go Breck, and you can experience Breckenridge in all kinds of new ways thanks to Tamika. See all the places Tamika goes. Follow her on Instagram and travel in style with Tamika and online travel in style with Tamika.com.